praise be Jesus Christ, love fights. I haven't been spending too much time reading news while I've been on vacation, but I have to admit I've been taking a little glance every day just to keep up with what's going on in the world. One of the news items that's in the news every day now is this whole government mandates. Now, thanks be to God, so many of our good Catholic bishops and also good Catholic moral theologians and even many secular ethicists have been speaking up and saying, listen, when all things are considered, you can't mandate something like this. You can invite people, you can urge people, you can encourage people, but you can't mandate something like this. You have to respect a person's right to make their own informed decision and to be able to listen to their conscience. And again, thanks be to God for just the many bishops who are upholding this basic truth. And especially our Catholic moral theologians. You know, now is your time to teach what is true, to defend people's rights to listen to their consciences. Like, this is why you studied moral theology. This is something that's pretty clear. It might not be very popular right now. There might be a lot of pressure right now. It might not be politically correct right now, to uphold the Catholic Church teaching on respecting a person's right to make their own informed decisions and listen to their conscience. But again, as a Catholic moral theologian, this is why you studied. Now is your time to fight. Now is your time to uphold what is right and true. And so again, I, just a shout out to the many uh, good bishops and good Catholic moral theologians and also the secular ethicists out there who are uh, standing up for people's rights to make their own decisions and to listen to their consciences. And a scripture for you from Psalm 26 or 27, depending on the translation, the Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? Viva Cristo Rey.